I mean, how do you how do you go about building something like this, a feature uh, in in this way? I mean, where does where does the knowledge set come from? Where does the data set come from to build out a visualization tool? Where does the skill set come from? I'm, I'm just curious. Yeah, so the, a great question. I think one of the uniquenesses of Vita is that we've been building a database of disease specific evidence for over a decade. And when I mean by disease specific evidence, it's, it's, it's multiple lung diseases and their comorbidity. So a patient with emphysema may also have a lung cancer, that's a comorbidity. So we have those patients that we've been able to follow over time, right? For their natural course of the disease, or their response to different therapeutics. And those, that's the kind of the knowledge base that we have. And then we can draw from those unique measures that we have on these patients at these different time points, at these different states. And we've been able to mine that data for information. We get most of it on, from large um, um, uh, studies. We put, um, over 70 clinical trials through the Vita platform to validate it. So that's what I was talking about at the beginning. It's, it's the, the marriage of the clinical issue with the data science. That's what makes Vita unique, is that we have all of those data that we've been tracking information. So the, the measurements that we have are validated to have a clinical implication, whether it's this disease, this disease that's growing, this patient's responded, we can find a way to measure that with our, the insights we draw from that, that unique database. Interesting, impressive. I mean, there's, I feel like that's a, that's a, a hard, that, that route alone, building up that data set is already difficult in the first place. And then being able to take that, draw insights from it and actually build out a platform and integrate into workflows is, even harder. I think that's one of the, the you know, the data science of, for deep learning and AI algorithms has definitely, certainly advanced um, over, you know, the last decades or so. But the, I think that the, the, some of the hurdles to get these solutions into the marketplace have been not just data. I mean, data is easy, right? It's the curation of that data, you know, the be able to to to, um, um, to have a naming convention on those data to define what your ground truth is. Those are the pieces that I think that have been missing to take those that that those data science implications and, and integrate it into uh, a clinically a clinical solution. 